So this is a uh, pipe we've put in, it's six inches, to divert the, st the little stream we've got here for us to uh, dig our holes. <laughs> We hit rock and Henry's taking his helmet off the, the frame so that he can clean the rock and the good news is we've hit rock that stone in the middle isn't rock that we're going to try and take out but it's quite big as you can see well look how high we've piled up it doesn't look that big on video it's a lot bigger in reality than what it looks but we've piled that up so there's going to be a foundation there that will connect into the rock face with rebar and there's going to be another foundation here this is the front of the system we're building so this is as far as I can get my car in the jungle the road here it drops down it got broken uh, so we're by hand walking it's about 100 meters to the top there and then from there it's about another 300 meters of which 200 230 is uphill and each bag here weighs about 35 kilos which is plenty when you're doing this it's hard work we have to rest every 30 bags because it's so hard So here you can see two tall columns, one on the left and one on the right. In the middle, in the middle, there will be a line of thick rebar going up and connecting to another. It's a, it's a form of uh, rebar. Um, what can you say? Rebar grill and column that connects into a column at the bottom. You can't really see the buckets in the way, but uh, but down the front you can see similar little columns down the front that are going to connect in, like this one. And yeah, soon that will start looking like finished product. So we're mixing concrete up there and passing material bucket by bucket down here and at the same time we're attaching the other columns in place. So you can see the rebar construction is getting getting on coming along well. <laughs> Gabrielle saying hello. That's all the material we brought up today. There's something like 120 bags in there. <laughs> Might not look like 120 but it is. And we've been bringing other stuff. We've been bringing rebar, uh, Sika, which is a product we add to the concrete mix, uh, and machines, heavy machines. And now we're working with a light on because it's getting dark and we want to get this really done tonight before we leave so that tomorrow when we come we can just pour concrete and we're going to come early tomorrow morning so we can pour concrete and it will set it will cure pretty much till about midday at which point we can start putting the wood framework around the top level and shape to get the shape right i don't know if you can see might be to see a little bit of the shape in there. Not all the rebar is aligned properly, so some of those rebars at the bottom look out of line, but they'll be corrected as we go. And this is the way how they are working. For our water supply. It's quite a hard job, hard, hard, hard job. Working 
yesterday, the whole day. Last night they continue without stopping. Now it's early morning and they are still working here because the raining time is coming and this one need to be finished is our water uh, supply the system that they are uh, building so as you see the water is running there the water can go up from there They are still carrying material through the jungle. Then took a diversion now because it's more hard going up on the hill. And what they are bringing is gravel. It's very hard, hard, hard job. Because they need to finish this bit. And they are putting the material there. Mamma mia! Some words? Uh, Exhausted? Uh, any words? It's like six in the morning. And we're still going. Exactly. Henry, ¿cómo está? <laughs> Ay, nadie entiende cómo están. Solo ustedes. This is a beautiful surprise! Look at your baby! That is gorgeous! Oh. <laughs> oh, look at you! It's 15th of December. We are here at the top of the uh, property because... Hello! There it is! Hello, hello! Because they are still working on the concrete So this is what we've been building. Uh, we haven't finished the two holes you can see there will need uh, something that we're, we're, we're welding together. It's like a, a mesh or a grill that will cut the water and then the water will go inside into these into there and then you see there it will go down that pipe and then any dirt should flow over the top. You can see it's quite a steep angle there. Any debris and dirt should flow down but it's a self-cleaning system. That pipe that you saw in there with the little filter head comes out here We've got a little isolation valve there. We're going to build a wall around and put a lid on to protect it. But that tube goes into concrete here. We've built a concrete uh, system to protect it and hold it in place. And that, that tube comes all the way down to here, to these two tanks.
So there she is, the finished system. I would say 99.5% finished. There's a few modifications that we've got to do, but it's working. Most of the debris comes down and goes over the grill, gets washed out down the stream. And the water goes in over those panels into a tank, which has a washout here. We can lift that up and it lets all the dirt and the water that's accumulated in the tank out. That's at a lower level than the tube that comes out from this side and passes into this point. We've also got isolation valve there. So if we're cleaning the whole system, we don't want any dirty water to go down the pipe. We just turn that on uh, and that works there. And then the pipe continues down here and eventually goes into these two tanks and you can see they drop down like a kind of septic tank system the exit is lower than the entry point and there's two tanks the first one's got a washout and it is behind a wall but the wall's got drainage points now eventually this wall might and this whole area might become a concrete tank which is why it's there in the first place to prepare for future changes and in the second tank uh, we've got a little uh, washout on each side and then we've got an overflow which is working now because we haven't opened the, the, the pipe up but that's another isolation um, point and this two inch pipe is now connected with rebar into the rock and is connected now all the way down to our tanks so next step is to open up the isolation valve and let the water flow really exciting Thank you so much for your prayers and your support and your giving. We couldn't have done any of this without you. It's a massive answer to prayer. And, uh, and yeah, we're going to see the fruit of this helping many, many people, many kids and, uh, and changing lives. So thank you so, so much. God bless you. Lots of love from Bolivia.